this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics! Oh, I guess we don't get to move on today. Okay, we get to sit around for a while. Uh, since last time, I purchased a new Adamant vest for Mistadio. You can buy that right at Zalen Fort City. It's another little town area. So. But I guess we get to hang around these ruins for some reason. Well, sounds easy enough. Of course he will. Oh, that might not be good. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Seems like a nice guy. I mean, you would know. You guys were at the monastery the whole time, I would think. What are you doing? Why does Glabados remind me of something else? Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I wish I weren't rich and had everything taken care of for me in life. Well, you did kind of have to live in a monastery your whole life, but... Oh. Well, which one was that? Oh, so you were adopted? Huh. Well, they did kind of complain, or they did kind of mention that before. Exactly. Don't beat yourself up over it. She, who was that? Yeah, except you're rich. Well, actually... Yeah, yeah, she's rich too, I suppose. What about Agrias? And Simon? Well, it's kind of hard to use someone who has no actual power. But... Eh. Off we go, then! Oh, I was just, uh, spying on them, staring at their ass. I'm a peeping Tom. Oh, he is seven, or, is he 17 now? I think he's 17. Ah, well, there you go. What are you doing? Are you coughing? Oh, no. Not again. Stop, Rand! What is the point of this? I mean, okay, earlier, okay, I'll buy that that was some male bonding ritual thing, whatever. But, Irith, what's the point? I mean, some people said they did that when they were kids. I never did that. None of my friends ever did that. Ramsa, you fool! You've created the precursor to the Vuvuzelas! You might think it's not annoying now, but just wait another thousand years. Okay, well, we're done there. So, uh, there's a couple propositions that you can do at Zalen Fort City. I've already done them off screen, listed them in the video description there. So, now let's move on. There we go. Some people were saying that this was a pretty hard battle for them. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think it was that hard, but... Well, we'll see what we can do. So, I have a very specific uh, formation I want for my party here. You want to go like that, and like that. Uh, Ramza, I suppose, could go somewhere else, but the other three characters, I specifically want them exactly where they are. You will see why, viewers. Uh, some new abilities that I learned from the propositions. I learned Earth Slash from, or for the monk. And I learned teleport for my priest there. So that's a nice thing about the propositions. I can just learn whatever abilities I want. And I don't have to use them in battle. So works out very nicely. Uh, well, we are kind of in their territory, Agrias. Nuts. Well, fortunately, the archers aren't too much higher than we are. But if you saw on the side, I don't know. We see them on the sides? 
Well, I don't think we saw them, but uh, they've got summoners on their side. Holy cow. Stay away from the summoner. But anyway, uh, we want to take out the summoners as quickly as we can, because they're basically like black mages, except their spells have way more radius. So anyway, I want to use Earth Slash from all the way over here. And it's not great damage, but I want to keep my uh, monk where he is right now, so that way I can buff him up a little bit. So we'll just kind of stand pat for now. And I also want to get Protect. Now part of the reason why I put my mages where I did is because they can hide behind the trees. So that way the, the archers can't get at us. They do have to have a little bit of line of sight. At least I think they do. Yeah, yeah, they're going to go after Mustadio. And uh, this time, we don't have to worry about him dying, thank goodness. So, I really don't care. Although, he seems to have pretty good evade. So, I did give him my leather mantle and rearranged my equipment, as I have listed in the video description there. Okay, let's, uh... Yeah, I still want to buff up Ramza, so... I'm going to start using Yell on himself, because I forgot his jump command is partially based on speed, or at least how quickly he'll come down. So, let's do that. And do I want to stay here? I think I'll go right about there. If I can. There we go. I don't want to get too close to Mistadio, so that way the summoners... Or, yeah, so that way I'm not in range of the summoner, or the summoners. So, there we go. And basically what I want to do, ultimately, is I want to have my black mage take out the summoner on the left, and my white mage silence song the summoner on the right. So that's also partially why I put my mages where I did. So, yeah. H.C. Bailey has a plan. Well, of course I have a plan. I always have a plan. It's just a matter of whether everything goes according to plan or not. I do like the music they got going on here. Nuts! They can still hit both of us! I thought if I moved a moved over a little more instead of right next to Mustadio, that would work better. But no! Yeah, haste is a pretty fast spell, pretty low charge time. Ha ha! Oh, nuts! Oh, this is gonna hurt. That'll probably kill my black mage. Wow, that summon got off fast. Usually, summons. The drawback of summons is that they take forever to cast. If only there were an ability that would let me cast spells even faster. Let's see, can I take her out? Uh, I can get an Earth Slash in and maybe have Mistadio finish her off. That would probably be the best idea. Or wait, no, I'd have to get over here. Now Earth Slash, oh I hope this will work, has a vertical tolerance of 2. So, yes, okay this will work. And I'll kill her, alright. I didn't think I'd have enough damage. Yeah, you see, I can just hit them from all the way over here. Yeah, it's really good. Let's see, how are you doing there? I don't know if I can get my jump off in time, but... Well, let's give it a try. It will be a little close. And now I want to silence that one. So, one, two, three, four, five. Let's try going... No, let's go over here. Yeah, you see, because the teleport... Uh, does not take this obstacle, the tree, into account. Oh, uh, yeah, silence on. It doesn't take the tree into account, so I don't have to worry about that being in my way. It's as though I'm only moving three tiles away instead of one to the left and then one back to the right. Hey, hey, all right. For once, my debuffs actually work. Uh, oh, I was like, what's going on? <laughs> I thought my wizard was, uh was going, but then it's like, what? I didn't see Mistadio behind my wizard there. Maybe if we can crowd control that one? Will Stasis Sword ever get stopped to work on someone? Probably not. Oh well. Gosh, I hope Ramza comes down soon enough. Ha! There we go. Even with your shield, it's useless against him. Finish him! Or... Close enough. Yeah, your defending doesn't work from behind, does it? 
Oh, maybe I should have, uh, maybe I should try and heal sometime today. Oh, the archers aren't doing so, uh, so well this time around. When I was, ah, that's more like it. Yeah, when I was fighting this battle before, the, uh, those archers were usually a little more dangerous. Okay. Wow. Okay, maybe this battle is harder than I thought it was. Okay, never mind, Beerus. Hmm, I can't get... Ooh, if only I could get close enough. Two, three, four. Oh, no. Hell no. That's way too far away. Okay, never mind. Well, let's try getting up there, at least. There you go. Good teleports. Yes, very good. Whoa! Well, I can't kill that guy, but I can kill the one. Gotta start somewhere. And I can't go through the trees like that. Oh well. Oh wait, I could heal. I could use my witch, and I probably should. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Well, I guess my only other alternative is to have my monk revive my... what? My priest. Wow! That was pretty good, a pretty good wish there. I wonder what it's based on. Like, how much HP you heal. Well, I could look it up in the... In the, uh, battle mechanics guide. I just never really thought about it. Man, I am really using that a lot more. Oh, for a second there, I thought he was going to target my priest. Like, what, are you going to revive it as an undead priest or something? Yeah, why don't you just, uh... Stand pat, Mustadio. Unfortunately, he... Oh, I can't get close enough to my priest. Okay, never mind. Well, I'll do what I can. I can still hit... Or, yeah, I can still hit you! Gotta take out those archers. Not really worried about the knights. Yeah, well, I'll just kill him the old-fashioned way. I was gonna jump, but uh, well, maybe I ought to reconsider using jump more often. A lot of people have been saying that they really like it. And I'm not a huge fan of it, but well, I'll, I'll give it some more thought. Generally, though, I think there's just better abilities eventually. If not... Oh, thanks, Agrias. Now I can't use my Phoenix Down on my Priest. <sighs> well, I, I guess of all people, I probably care about my Priest the least. Hey, that rhyme. Uh, mostly because... Actually, hold on. Yeah, I don't really have that... Oh, that's probably not going to work too well. Okay, never mind. My priest has the least abilities that I really care about learning. I've pretty much learned most of what I care about. Maybe learn holy or something like that, but eh, nothing too special. Ow! Quit it. If only my monk had another ability that could revive my characters. What is your magic evade? Magic should, like, hit guaranteed, practically. Okay, never mind. Can we at least kill them? Well, I can jump the guy. Wow, jump is working surprisingly well, considering that I don't have... Er... Well, whatever. Yeah, considering I don't have any of the other abilities. Uh, the way... The... The way the Lancer's jump abilities work, because you see it says, like, vertical, level 8, or whatever it is. Uh, the way they work is... You have to have up to the maximum of whatever your ability is. So if you get vertical uh, jump level 2 or whatever the ability is called... Aw, oh, come on! I almost killed him. But, like, if you get vertical jump 2 or vertical jump 8 or whatever, uh, the maximum ability includes all the abilities below it on the way to it. So you might as well just go for the maximum abilities to begin with. Not that I'm, uh, yeah, not that I'm really going to uh, go into that, but it is something if you really wanted to develop 
a... Uh, what is it? If you really wanted to develop a Lancer, you could. But I'm not gonna. How could you not hit the... Uh-oh. Uh, Krona? You're gonna get your turn soon, right? Good. Please don't turn into a crystal. My priest is almost gone. Yeah, yeah, let's, uh, I don't want to chance it. Whoa, I'm out of potions. Not that I really care. I hardly ever use the damn things, but... Well, at least my priest is alive now. Of course, the knight might just wake up and hit my priest. Or I could have my priest whack him upside the head. Can you move more than one step at a time, Mistadio? Well, at least he's not going after my priest for some reason. Why did you use that? My monk has no weapon. You can't break these lethal weapons. My fist of fury! Whack him upside the head. All right, go Taku! Holy cow! That was some pretty good damage there. Oh, okay, I'm sure you sound trustworthy to me. Well, all right, got him. Yeah, I didn't think that was that hard. I mean, okay, so they killed my priest, but I mean, how many battles are you going to get away without having someone die, you know? Sooner or later, the enemies are just going to gang up on you, and there's nothing you can do about it. That's why I've got so many different ways of reviving. you got uh, Phoenix Down, Raze... I'm going to get revived for my monk next. So I've got a lot of different ways of reviving people so we can handle different situations there. So what's going on back there? What's Gafgarion doing with him? Well, he did work for the Hokutan, I guess, but... uh. Nuts. So he was working with him all along. So he was working to protect the princess in order to kidnap her, I guess. He did. And then he ran away. Could be. trying to think of a reference to that. Hmm. If he falls, fine. If not, the sword. That was it just kind of reminding me of that for some reason. Uh, you're on his payroll, dude. Oh, yeah. Well, that's kind of why we're going there. What do you mean by that? You're not going to tell us, are you? Yep, that's it. Nah, I don't think so. He's Gafgarion, man. Okay, so he's 53 years old, but still. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, what's, what's going on with that? So he was the one behind it. Yeah, some... Oh, yeah. There was that other guy there. Hmm, that knight dude or whatever. I never heard from him again. I'm sure he's not important. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Unless we can make it to the castle in time. Let's find out. But will Cardinal Drakelaw help us out? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics! This is H.G. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.